welcome to sada learning hub you are with me sada shorao today session we are going to learn coupling and cohesion in object oriented programming coupling the degree of dependency between the components is called coupling coupling means the degree of dependency between the components that is called coupling for example i can show you one example here here this is the class a in this class a i am declaring a one variable called um, int i now this is the int i i am calling b dot j is the class b i am extending from a in this b contains j is variable is there static variable uh, it calls the stda c dot main method now c this is the class c we are extending from the b in this c class contains one static method is there that is the method one in this method one i am returning the d dot k see here d dot k means the class d is there it is extending from the c in this d class we are one more static variable is there k uh, it is the zero here one public static void main is there they are creating a class of d now whenever you are compiling this program i am running this program first it starts from here d d is equal to new d whenever creating an object of d class first it checks from c is there any constructor is available or not uh static blocks and instance blocks and uh, static methods is available or not c is extending from the b it goes to b again b is extending from the a it goes to a here first it checks any static variable available or not he see here is available it is static int i is equal to b dot j now b is the class it is we are calling the variable j but here this is the variable i am declaring a one variable j into the b class but the value assigned to the j by using one more method c dot method one this is the class c it is the method one it returns the d dot k but d is the class k is the variable k is available from the d class which is the static modifier uh, this is the k variable it it goes like this the above component are said to be is tightly coupled to each other because the dependency between the components is more see this class is depending on b class b class is depending on c class c class that's it d is depending upon some other classes a is depends on b b is depends on c c is depends on uh, d this is the uh, tightly coupled classes tightly coupling is not a good programming practice because it has several se uh, serious disadvantages these are without affecting the remaining components we can't modify any component hence enhancement that is the development will becomes difficult it reduces the maintainability of the operation why development is difficult whenever we are changing one class it automatically change the other classes also why because it's one class is depending upon the another classes that's why development is very difficult it reduces the maintainability of the application it is also maintainability of the application reduce the and it doesn't promotes the reusability of the code see here reusability means we can use the code some other places but here it is not possible to reusing our code it is always recommended to maintain loosely coupled between the components it is uh, the tightly compo uh, tightly coupling classes is not good for the programming always we recommended to maintain loosely coupled between the components that is a good programming practice next i am going to discuss about cohesion for every component we have to maintain a clear well defined functionality such type of components is said to be follow high cohesion 
for every component we have to maintain a clear well defined functionality such type of components it said to be follow high cohesions if you see this diagram here there is a login page is there validation page there inbox and components for so many different services are there this is the total servlet here this is the low cohesion now if you see this example this is the login page after that login page uh, we are validating servlet our credential is validating from here if it is success it going to inbox.jsp and some other features are there if it is validation failed it's going to error page this is the high cohesion without affecting remaining components if you are changing this one it doesn't affect on any of these components if you are changing error at jsp it doesn't affect on this all component if you changing the login jsp it doesn't affect on this remaining components without affecting the remaining components we can modify any component hence enhancements will becomes very easy it improves the maintainability of the applications it promotes the reusability of the application it is also reusability of the reusability is also so much reusability is there next it is highly recommended to follow loose coupling and high cohesion already we are discussing with the coupling it is recommended highly recommended the loose coupling and high cohesion is recommended to write the java code is a low cohesion is not good for the programming practice it is a high cohesion is the good programming for the practice thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel sadot learning hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and i will be back soon till then you take care bye bye